Hey gang, I'm Juan Rodriguez and you're watching the Uncanny Catholic Channel. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my sister in Christ, Avelis, who produced an awesome, smooth Catholic CD titled Love Changes Everything. That's her album playing in the background. And I think it's awesome to play during night prayer. Check it out. The song playing is titled Speak. You have to listen and read the lyrics. It's awesome for anyone needing God's help in finding their vocation. So order her CD, Love Changes Everything, on iTunes or click on the link below to check out her webpage. I release you rock, sis. God bless you and your family. Now, we begin our new topic titled Expanding Your Reach. This is to help Catholic leadership to strengthen or develop their parish or group mission. So let's begin with a person in the Old Testament. You've probably heard of the man named Jabez. There's very little known about Jabez. What we do know is that he prayed to God with these words. Written in the book of Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 10. Consider these words. He says, that you may truly bless me and extend my boundaries. Now think about what he said. This is just a prayer to God. Your parish or group must ask this to God and your patron saint of the parish. If a parish gives very little attention to the patron saint, how will this saint ask God to grant you the graces needed to succeed? Better said, to extend your boundaries. Once we understand that connection, we can learn how to work as a community. Communication and fellowship is a must. So prayer to the saints, that's all part of our Christian living. We have to practice this as the church and as a group or ministry of the parish. So if you don't have a patron saint, if you don't have any connection with your patron saint, start now. Here are my tips to better your communication and network within the parish. And I guarantee you, your group or ministry will grow with prayer and communion. Number one, if you have created a group within the church, you are in the personal care of God, the patron, of the, or the patron saint of the parish, and any saint that you wish to take as your help in this mission. For us, we started a youth group um, based on titled The Dreamers Club, and it was based on Queen of Angels, Saint Joseph the Patriarch, and Saint Joseph the Father of Jesus. These two saints being dreamers. And our focus was helping young people develop their vocation by imagining what God is calling them to be. Helped us out, continues to go. Um, it's, been, it's been around for at least a good six years. Number two, it's important that your name, mission, and devotion be central within the, this work. It should point towards the work of the saint. So there's no excuse. You can use um, the life of a saint or, it's, or his writings or her writings and use it to better your mission, better your group, strengthen it in whatever way you want it to go. But you have to put the effort. You have to study. You have to look at... And, and, and read some of the saints' work or life. And number three, it is important that you create a strong network of communication with the following. This always happens when a group does not do this. You need to create a strong communication with the pastor, the religious leaders of your parish, and the parish staff. Listen, the disconnect can really kill a parish group. Um... It could be infighting left and right. Now, I, que I ask you that question. Do you know the protocols within the structure of your parish community? Have you asked questions? Have you met with your pastor lately? Think about that. Second would be the lay leadership of the parish. Do you, as a lay person, are you involved in, or do you get involved in the parish pastoral council? Or are you doing your own thing? If you're doing your own thing and you don't know what's going on in the parish, that is a that's just a recipe for a mess. And problems will follow years to come. So try and get involved. You're not the only person or group that is doing something in the church. You need to also acknowledge there are other people out there doing God's work. 
and they're working in your vineyard. Lastly, do you, un do you connect with the families and cultures of the parish? You need to know who they are, possibly even learn their language, maybe even learn their culture, even share their food. You know, that goes a long way. Builds community, builds all sorts of things. And that network can go a long distance and can also be so helpful for the future of the church. Resi revisit these points and evaluate the mission of your parish or group within your parish. Are you expanding your reach? I'm Juan Rodriguez and you're watching the Uncanny Catholic Channel. Peace.